Well, this one was the big shocker. Democrat Glenda Ritz has unseated incumbent Tony Bennett as the Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction. And Dr. Tony Bennett had been the top educator for more than three years. News Channel 15's Megan Royce continues our election 2012 coverage. Well, Mark and Heather, I don't believe this news comes as a surprise to some folks. A lot of teachers that I've spoken with weren't happy with the direction Bennett was heading in. They say he was focusing on standardized testing, which is something they, they disagree with. Now, a lot of teachers rallied around Brits because of her stance on the voucher program, giving local schools more control, charter schools, and the ICE step testing model. Ritz said it doesn't provide a true assessment of what level students are performing at in the classroom. She says that's because it's centered around pass or fail distinctions. Then it conceded to Ritz tonight just about 30 minutes ago. Now in Allen County, all four school districts have had board races tonight, and we've been keeping a close eye on the races in East Allen and Southwest Allen. Reason being, a lot of EACS parents would like to see incumbents unseated. For SACS, there were mixed emotions as to whether parents would like to see incumbents stay or go. In EACS, Bob Nelson Jr. has won a seat on the school board from Michael Poff. Incumbent Richard Allgaier has been unseated by Arden Hoffman, and Vince Buchanan lost to incumbent Terry Joe Lightfoot. For SACS, incumbent John Bloom kept his seat. Mark Gilpin also kept his seat by beating Jason Kuchme, and May, or Megan rather, Milne has claimed an open seat on the SACS school board. And what this means for EACS is they will have two fresh new faces on the school board, which may make some parents happy, and SACS will keep both of its incumbents whose seats were up for grabs. Megan Royce, News Channel 15.